now let's quickly talk about the robin relic sets you can use but first off here are the redemption codes they're also in the comments below so here's our robin i'm gonna pull robin live on saturday over on twitch you can see me there but let's go over one important fact right here the ultimate and this one is very important as you can see right here will always crit and always have a crit damage of 150 percent whenever she does like the extra damage when other characters attack which means that both crit and crit damage subsets are basically useless on her we will use some amount of speed for her but not too much you mainly want attack damage and then some defensive stats so you don't have to heal her too much you know and she can sustain better so how do we achieve that let us go over to my links yes where i've already prepared some relics that my character can use so for example we will use two of the sets that give 12% attack, which are both the Deep Confinement set and then, of course, the very standard set that everybody has, the Musketeers of Wild Wheat. They both give 12% attack damage for a two-piece set bonus. Now, and then you want as much attack as possible as a subset. As you can see, I have 11% right here. Then the next one, these gloves were actually insane. They have 23%. As you can see, they went five times into attack. Like, what the hell? Then you want an armor, of course, with attack on it as well. And if possible, some speed subsets. I don't have that. Maybe you have that. And then for boots, if you have enough speed subsets from other things, you can go for attack boots. But we are aiming for around 120 speed. So she at least gets her ultimate up very regularly, you know, which is like the main thing she does. Since I don't have that, I have boots as well. And if you use speed boots, of course, use as much attack subsets as possible. Then you have a few different choices for your planetary set. There's two different planetary sets, both the Sprigly Wang Quang set and the Panacony set that both give 5% additional energy regeneration. And that is basically the only thing that makes it work. Like this one also makes it advance further. The other one would increase the damage of other harmony characters or her damage of other harmony characters are in the party. Again, you want attack or physical damage, but most of the time you want to go for attack since she increases the percentage of damage anyway, which is like the physical damage. So go for attack. Substats, if possible, go for speed as well. Again, I don't have that. And then for Link Rope 100% you will always want to use Energy Regeneration with some speed there as well and if possible also attack. This one is like the hardest piece to get. You can use the Broken Keel set as well. It increases the crit damage for your other characters if you're using a team that uses crits, which if you are a follow-up attack team you do. But it doesn't increase her own personal damage. And one of the best support sets is basically the Fleet of the Ageless. That's the one that gives you 12% HP for a 2-set bonus and increases everyone's attack by 8% once you reach 120 speed. And this one would be the best. But of course, this one is not a set that you really farm nowadays. I'm not sure if it's too worth farming it just for Robin herself. If you already have like an energy rope for it laying around and an attack orb, then go for it. But make sure to reach your 120% speed. Yep.